So we have this problem where two different functions, function A, which might call another function B, those two functions might want to use the same registers. So who's responsible for making sure that a function B operates on the same registers as A, that when B is done, A doesn't end up with corrupted state in its registers? Well, there are two different strategies uh, that could be adopted. One is to have the caller save off the register state before invoking a call, but that has some downsides. Uh, the caller might waste work saying, well, I have to save all of this register state in case the call, in case the function I'm calling wants to use those registers. If the calling function doesn't use those registers, that was a bunch of wasted work. So on the other side, we might say, well, let's just have the callee save all that register state. But that could waste work if the callee is going to save off register state that the caller wasn't using. So if the callee says, well, I want to use all these registers. I don't know what what the calling function used, so I'm just going to push everything onto the stack. That could be a lot of waste of work. So what does the x86 calling convention do? It specifies some of the registers as being callee save registers, and the rest of the registers are caller save registers. And so the caller will be responsible for saving some stuff, the callee will be responsible for saving other stuff, and if either of those functions doesn't need one of those registers, then it can avoid uh, wasted work. In x86-64, in this calling convention, it turns out that the RBX, RBP, and R12 through R15 registers are all callee saved, and the rest of the registers are caller saved. In particular, the C linkage defined by uh, this calling convention for all the registers looks something like this. Yes. 